Hi, my name is Trevor. I'm here at the Des Moines Buccaneers versus Muskegon Lumberjacks USHL game, and you're watching Post to Post. Hello and welcome to Post to Post, the channel where we discuss all things hockey and all teams. And I must apologize, I probably should have done this video about three weeks ago, maybe even three months ago when they announced the jerseys, but uh, okay. Olympics are over now and I kind of forgot about it. So uh, I haven't really been in the mindset of ranking things lately, uh, but I've gone ahead, and, gone ahead and done it. Okay. There's 12 jerseys in here because Japan didn't qualify for the men's. Right. Uh, I'm going to use the original Russia jersey before the we found out that they couldn't go. So I'm not going to use the the OAR jersey. Yeah. I'm going to use the Russia They jersey. can go. They just couldn't go as Russia. Exactly. Yeah. So they were an Olympic logo jersey instead. Everybody knew it was Russia. <clears throat> we just couldn't say. Right. Uh, and then I have uh, some Patreon stuff to go over at the end of the rankings and uh, Patreon announcement. So it's, it's not major, but it's, <clears throat> it's worth Excuse listening me. to. Okay, so I'm going to start off with uh, last place, basically, 12th. And it is Russia. Uh, it's like, compared to all the others. This is the only one that's a solid color, mm -hmm. and maybe it would have looked a little better once I saw it on the ice. But obviously, we didn't get the opportunity to see that, so I've ranked it last because it's just basically all one solid color. Okay. Number eleven, uh, Slovenia it has hints of the Vancouver Canucks, just a little bit with the blue and the green, uh, and all of these jerseys in general kind of have that same aesthetic design kind of on the on the arms there the jaggedy mm -hmm. bits jaggedy bits very very professional term there uh but i just not a fan of this at all i just like i don't hate it but i don't i don't like it i wouldn't say i like any of these jerseys actually like enough to buy one okay i'm just not a fan that's of your any, criteria yeah, for just, uh number 10 iconic classic yeah i i did appreciate <clears throat> that they they left it alone as much as they could and uh kind of went back to all the other previous mm -hmm. uh, Swedish jerseys, but um, still, it's a little, little boring around the shoulders and the neck. Maybe would have liked to have seen something there. Number nine, Switzerland. Uh, kind of a cool little thing on the arm there, but it still it looks it looks awkward. It looks like a indoor football jersey or something. I don't know. It doesn't look like hockey to me. Really? Just, yeah, just not feeling it. I'm, I'm liking these, but really, yeah. Uh, number eight is Norway. Uh, I said that I didn't like any any jersey, but I meant and I didn't like any jersey enough to buy one. Right. But I do like this jersey. Pretty much from this jersey forward, I like yeah. them all, I guess. I love how they put the, the Viking exactly, ship Exactly, yeah. On the, on the what, what a nice addition. That is sure, very yeah. nice. Very nice. Yeah. And the same, basically the exact same design as the previous one, mm -hmm. uh, but just some more color in there. Seventh, I've ranked Canada. Uh, you see three jerseys here. I don't remember seeing them in the black jersey. I don't either. I don't either. think they wore that. Uh, of of all of them, I do like the black jersey the best, and then the red jersey, and then the white jersey, but still, just in general, it's just the arms. I just, I just don't like the arms that much. Number six, the USA jerseys. I think they mainly wore the one on the left, mm -hmm. I believe. And I'd, it's not bad. It's again the things on the arms kind of just ruin it for me a little bit, but I don't hate it by any means. Number five, the uh, Germany jersey, uh, one that we saw more than we probably anticipated. To yeah, see, really, because they went all the way to the gold medal. They got heavily worn. Yeah, they so did. Good for them. And I'm usually I'm not a fan of of black and gold or yellow together, but uh, the little bit addition of the red in there really helps, and uh, it actually looked really good on. On the yeah. ice and stuff while they were playing. That Nike swoosh on all these jerseys really looks out of place. It, 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 I guess it does what you want it to do. It draws your eye to it, but not in a good way. So you say Nike? Some people say Nike. No, it's Nike. It's Nike. You think it's Nike? I, I think it's Nike. Let us know in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> uh, number four, Korea. Not no, I'm not usually a big fan of white jerseys, but I I do I do like this. I, I like that. Yeah. yeah, it's it's kind of sharp. And I like the font. It's got that LCD, mm, eight, 80s computer. Yeah, I like DOS that. kind of yeah feel. Yeah. Yeah. Number three, Finland jersey. Uh, I really like this. Lots of color on the shoulders and the arms. Uh, I think they did a really really good job. And that typical kind of Finland. Did I say Swedish? 
No, said to Finland. Okay. Yeah. I thought I said Swedish the first time. Don't do that. <laughs> uh, number two, Czech Republic or Czechia, whatever. Yep. A, uh, what did you... Well, I'm wearing a, a shirt from Sweden, so... But that's the Czech Republic. No, that was from before. Dad, don't worry about it. <laughs> okay. Uh, Just saying, don't get them mixed up. Oh, okay. Do you like this? I'm okay with it, but it it wouldn't be near the top for me. I See, I like this split at the top, the white shoulders and the rest of it in color. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think it looked really good on the ice while they were playing. Too. It did look good on the ice. Yeah. I will agree with that. Yeah. And first, I've actually chosen Slovakia. Uh, the, they've got the jaggedy bits on the bicep area, mm -hmm. which I'm not a big fan of, but at least, there's, at least there's a little bit of red in there. It blends well with the white at the top, and then it's a straight cut for the blue on the bottom of the arms that matches the general color of the jersey. It's so, funny how thumbs up. some of the teams use a more description of their native language yep. in their shirt, like Norway. jersey. Norway is like Norge, N-O-R-G-E, Slovensko instead of Slovakia. But Germany is Germany instead of Deutschland. Yeah, yeah. Which is interesting. Right. Yeah. And Russia is Rosia, except it's spelt in in Roman alphabet rather than Cyrillic. Mm. So that's a kind of a hybrid. They're they're spelling it in a way that most people could read it and probably say it. No, no, I'm sorry. I got to have that wrong. It is Cyrillic. If we uh, go back to it. It is it is yeah, it is Cyrillic. Oh, sorry. Is, there yeah. just there were so many characters that are, that share in common with with Roman it looks it looks pretty close to Roma, but it's not. It's, That's okay. It's, it's we true. were able to go back and correct the mistake. Yeah. Not a big deal. Yeah. The backwards N is a Y. A Y. And the C's are S, O is O. Mm -hmm. The P is an R sound. So it's that makes sense. Interesting. All right. Well, there's my rankings. Uh, feel free to disagree in the comments. Uh, I'm not expecting anyone to agree with me there. They're, I won't agree. I'm going to get on the comments right away. <laughs> <laughs> these jerseys are all over the place, so uh, I can just imagine everyone having different rankings for these. Yeah. All right, on to the Patreon stuff. And this cool. is a little delayed, and by little I mean a lot delayed, so I apologize about that. So as part of the Patreon perks, uh, everybody gets a shout-out. Now, th these are all contributions from January. Now, it's the last day in February. <laughs> so, I, like I said, these are delayed, but these are the contributions from January and we got contributions from Mulligan uh, at two levels actually and Joey Ryan they contributed at the hockey card level and uh, We had, I had to fun making those videos. All oh, right um, Gary Matt Ted Charlie Danny Josh uh, Andreas Matthew uh, T Park Grant Justin Alec Ryan Mitch Eisenberg Justin Andreas Juan uh, Simon Tim Brandon Cam Grav Brittany, the Cranky Yankee, Olivia, aka Liv, Steve, Matthias, Stephen, Lindsay, Lester, Matthew, Vincent, Nicholas, Tim, Russell, Max, Justin, Minnesota Arctic Blast, and Daniel. So thank you guys, boom, all for your contributions. That is a mouthful. Uh, I haven't. These are the people who keep this uh, show on the air. Absolutely, and yeah. I haven't gotten a chance to speak with all of these people individually, but I have spoken with a lot of them, mm -hmm. and. Uh, have made very good friends with with a lot. Uh, there's some great people here on this list. Channel aside, hockey aside, just person to person, there are some fabulous people on this list, and I'm so thankful that I got to meet them um, just because of the channel. So I, I really appreciate you guys contributing. Uh, it really means a lot. And uh, this month we had this month as in February, so I'll be reading the contributions from February, probably next week or the week after. Um, and we had a lot of new contributions this month, so there's a lot of new faces there. Oh, neat. Uh, if you'd like to contribute on Patreon, the link's down in the description. Uh, any amount helps, even as like a dollar a month, uh, really goes a long way. So thank you very much for contributing if you plan on contributing. And the announcement that I have is I want to really start creating more videos for our Patreon members because they're, they help us quite a bit. Yep, and, they deserve uh, some, absolutely. some value. And I was, time is the issue for me, and I know most of the Patreon people don't really probably even care to see Patreon videos. They want to see more hockey videos. That's why they're contributing. Uh, but I do want to give back to them on there as well. So what I've decided to do um, is for every single post to post video released, there's going to be a video released on Patreon. And it's going to be a time lapse of me creating the thumbnail for that episode. So episode 495 released earlier today on Patreon. They got a video, or they'll get soon, a video of that thumbnail from that episode being created. <coughs> 
uh, so they can see me in Photoshop creating it and all, and all that stuff. So is it a screenshot of Photoshop or is it looking over your shoulder? No, it's a is screen it... capture of okay. Photoshop. So I'm not talking in it, it's just a time lapse, but at least you can see how I created stuff. So this month in February, there was 45 videos. So if this month is anything like next month, the Patreons will get 45-ish videos. Well, videos, like just mm -hmm. straight up. And there'll be other videos too. I have other plans and stuff. But uh, yeah, it's not, it's not really a tutorial. But I do have coming up on this channel how I make create thumbnails. And that will be a tutorial. I just haven't had the mm -hmm. time to do it. It takes a long time. So, But it is coming. How long are these uh, thumbnail videos you're going to uh, do? The one from today was a minute and 50 seconds, I think. Okay. So it's not long. It's just like a little well, time lapse. Uh, but... Yeah, if you have any questions, any Patreon members, if you have any questions of how I created anything or anything you saw in the video, just feel free to comment and uh, you can have some discussions. Uh, be more than more than happy to help anyone learn how to, a few Photoshop skills. So I, not everyone agrees with my hockey knowledge. Not everyone agrees with my rankings. Not everyone agrees with my favorite teams or my least favorite teams. Uh, but one of the things on the channel that's been the most consistent has been a lot of positive feedback towards the thumbnails. Uh, that's kind of and just the what, overall quality of the production that you do yeah a little backgrounds, bit backgrounds yeah. lighting I, I see a lot of that sprinkle through the comments yeah I, I think they like the, yeah they, they, they take the time they appreciate that but yeah. uh, there's always positive things <clears throat> to say about the thumbnails so I always take pride in the thumbnails and uh, I have a lot of fun creating them because I, I love Photoshop and I'm no design person by by any stretch the farthest thing from it but you always use that impact italic font right mm -hmm. all caps usually or mostly caps and I think it's become a brand in itself. Like when I see, when I look at all of the stuff that YouTube pushes at me as suggestions, and I subscribe to a lot of people on YouTube, yours stand, they jump right out because of the colors you use and the fonts you use, and it's easy to see yours. I, I think that's a Well, good as, as a former marketer and graphic designer, and you have to be consistent, especially on YouTube when creating thumbnails, you have to be consistent. You have to mm -hmm. create a brand and image and stuff so if you are an up-and-coming youtuber or anything like that um, when you're creating your thumbnails just be consistent pick a font that's unique to you uh, I mean, if you want to use the same font i can't i do then that's fine but it won't be unique but so choose a font that's unique to you uh and be consistent and uh yeah grow your brand so nice yeah well done uh, i was gonna oh the thing i was gonna mention is what we just talked about, the example of the time-lapse of the, of the thumbnail creation. I'm going to show you an example of, of that at the, end of this at the end of this video. So you're not going to see a typical end card to this video. You're oh. just going to see a preview of what you can see on Patreon in the next coming months or whatever. So, Neat. Uh, you can enjoy the, that. Uh, I'll add maybe a little bit of music or something so it's not too dull. But, uh, yeah, that's all I have to, to add for this. Um, anything else? No. Well, yes, one thing. If somebody comes on to Patreon now at the right level, whatever the right level is, you'll tell me. Will they see all the videos you've posted in the past or yep. will they only see videos going ahead? Yeah, no, so. they can see everything from, from before. So. Great. So you, you you put up some very interesting things in the past on Patreon. I wouldn't say very interesting. Well, but there's a, there's maybe a, I'm biased. There's a very interesting video of you on there talking about your radio stuff. Oh, but that's on there. I don't right? think any of the other videos are really... That interesting. Oh, I think just me are. jabbering on the one that you show the inside behind the scenes. Oh yeah, I guess that's not really applicable anymore because I showed a new video just the other week on this channel. So oh, I really like that. Yeah, okay. and you're gonna do another one, aren't you? A behind the scenes thing. Didn't you have a two two phase? Didn't you have it plans to do the other half of that video? No. Okay. Oh, that was the man cave. Oh, the man cave. But right. it's, not, it's not ready yet. So. The man cave is not ready yet, but it's getting very close. Getting close. You so. and the other interior designer who lives in the house, who is not me, uh, did some additional work. Yeah, we just need to there. hang some stuff up. Yeah, so we need to. Uh, yeah. We need to dangle some art. Dangle some art. That's a sentence that's never been said in human history. <laughs> All right. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching. I appreciate it. <laughs> if you like this video, hit the like button. If you're new here, subscribe. If you want to contribute on Patreon, the link's down below. All kinds of other links. Yeah, uh, if you still media. want to after hearing all that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> social media and everything's down in the, in the description. Yeah. So thanks, guys, for watching. Appreciate it. And enjoy this um, thumbnail creation. Adios.